So today I will be explaining the process of simple and fractional distillation. Distillation is a technique of heating a liquid to the boiling point, con condensing the vapor by cooling and collecting nothing or a portion of it to a distillate flask. To be more specific, simple distillation is when you separate a liquid from a non-volatile minor component or if they reach a boiling point above the major component. Fractional distillation is used when complete separation is desired and the boiling points of each component differs by less than 30 to 40 degrees. Oil refining uses this technique of distillation. Crude oil contains hydrocarbons that must be separated out in order for them to be useful in some way. This is where distillation comes in, and to be more specific, the oil refining process uses fractional distillation. So you could think of these giant metal columns as a fractionating column in our experiment. Since the hydrocarbons have different boiling points, they can be separated out by heating to the vaporization temperatures. This experiment is a condensed version of the oil refining process. This is what you will need in order to conduct simple and fractional distillation. Your heating mantle, water jacketed condenser, your vacuum, connecting tube, size 14 yellow clamps, distilling column, round bottom flask, thermometer, and the glass beads for the fractional distillation. So the main purpose of simple and fractional distillation will be comparing it by the separation of ethanol from water. And something very important uh, for safety and disposal, ethanol should not be ingested. It is a tainted chemical and can cause irritation to the skin, eyes, and respiratory tract. Some characteristics and properties about ethanol uh, would be the melting point, which is 114 degrees Celsius and the boiling point, which is around 77 degrees Celsius. For disposal, you should toss it in the non-halogenated waste container. It is also important to note that absolute ethanol cannot be attained since the ethanol and water mixture are aseotrope. After conducting separate distillations, one for simple and one for fractional, Data was collected in order to produce a graph and analyze the chemical activity of the compounds. The data was carefully collected by heating the ethanol water solution and allowing it to distill through the condenser into a graduated cylinder to collect 15 ml of the distillate. When two liquids are mixed, the one that is more volatile will have a higher vapor pressure. Once the vapor condenses, it turns into its liquid phase and is collected. In comparing simple distillation and fractional distillation, they are very distinct from each other in the way they undergo the process. Simple distillation will only have one distillation cycle throughout the process, while fractional distillation will have two. A fractionating column is used during the fractional distillation. This column is packed with glass beads which serve as an obstruction to the rising gas. The not so pure rising gas is condensed on these glass beads and will once again be reheated by the rising hot gas and is vaporized until it is almost pure. Fractional distillation involves repeated distillations and each distillation is called a theoretical plate. With more cycle, it results in better separations and a pure separation of the liquids. Going back to the graph from earlier, we can compare the trend lines of the simple and fractional distillations and explain the sudden increase in temperature of fractional distillation. For the simple distillation, as mentioned earlier, it takes up one whole cycle. This cycle is representative of ethanol being steadily distilled while the temperature increased. For fractional distillation, the trend line is more steady and consistent, which resulted from the glass beads doing continuous distillations until all of the ethanol properly distilled. Once ethanol ran out, the temperature of the water rapidly increased to 98.9 .9 degrees Celsius. Some errors that could have been made during this experiment would be forgetting a few small things. For example, forgetting to add boiling stones can cause the inside of the round bottom flask to boil uncontrollably and cause bumping. 
which is a process of when a liquid becomes superheated and create a gas bubble, which explosively forces liquid outside of a flask. Adding boiling stones also allows the liquid to boil more smoothly. Another error would be air bubbles inside the condenser. This can disrupt the heat transfer in order for distillation to occur. And another error would be not letting the round bottom flask touch the heating mantle, which can also disrupt the heat transfer. In this experiment, the student experimented with the simple and fractional distillation technique. The student compared both processes and found that simple distillation collected less ethanol, which, according to the graph, turned out to be around 10.5 mils. For fractional distillation, it fell at a more steady and lower temperature and produced 13 mils. Once all the ethanol was collected, the temperature went from 80 degrees Celsius to 99 degrees Celsius. In conclusion, the process of simple and fractional distillation was explored and the student analyzed the data behind the experiment. Also, possible errors were addressed and stated. Thank you for watching.